Oh, this is a good crappie right here. This is a good one right here. Doggone. Black crappie. First one of the morning. Come on in here, boy. I wish I'd have brought my net. We're going to... Let's see if we can flip him. That's a good fish right there. That's how we're going to start it off this morning. And I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all and show y'all what I'm using. I'm excited. But I stay that way when it comes to fishing. But I'm excited. Woo. Hey, have I mentioned to y'all, I am, hey, woo, excited. I'm excited about this bait, folks. I've been waiting for this for a while uh, to show how effective this bait right here is. But that, quit, quit, quit. Doggone it. But that's a good fish. Probably about 11 and a half inches long. 11 and a quarter. I don't know, but I'm going to put him in the bucket. We ain't going to let this one go. I'm going to put him right there in the bucket and uh, show y'all what bait we're fishing with and I have been monkeying around this bait several different ways and catching fish with it so <laughs> I'm convinced it's a killer bait for a lot of different reasons let's talk about it I have several different colors but I'm going to be working with just a couple different colors or, or maybe just one today look how the water clarity is pretty it's uh, pretty clear. I just caught that fish on a baby baller Z made by Z-Man. Great little bait. It's two inches long. It's a last tech. It's not going to tear up on you. Not at all. And I have it rigged on a 132nd ounce jig head right here. And it has a weed guard in it. That's a Palomar knot right there. Anytime that I'm skipping docks with four pound test line, I have to put a Palomar knot or tie a Palomar knot, not a loop knot. I need to get that maximum strength because I could hook a big old crappie way up under there. So I need that strength on four pound line. Now, that is elastic, and I have that bait glued just like I glue all my other baits. I cut the collar off, wrapped dental floss, y'all seen it, if you hadn't, go back a few videos and I'll show you how to rig baits to make them last for a long time. Baits are expensive, it's just the, the era that we live in and, it, and you have to get all that you can out of your tackle, that's just all they are to it. But these are inexpensive compared to how many fish they catch. Well. I love Elastec. I love it. It's just it's just hard to tear up. And you can catch. I can probably fish with this all day. We'll find out. Or I will, three or four hours. Ever how long I'm going to stay out here. And be fine. And, and probably fish with it the next fishing trip. That's how tough Elastec baits are. Catching a hundred crappie off of one bait. Well, is not out of the question. That's what I call ultimate, ultimate, an ultimate, ultimate jig. That's what I'm about. And I'm also, I got me some of these heads right here. These are sharp. These hooks are incredibly sharp. These are, well, good. Micro shad heads. Um, this is a 1 16th of an ounce, but I'm using a 1 32nd of an ounce. The hooks are incredibly sharp. And uh, I'm using the 1 32nd of an ounce, which is a size 4 hook. Let's get back in there and let's go to fishing and talk about the fishing. Woo, I'm excited. Okay, I tell you, it's a beautiful day. Now, it's going to get up to 80 today. Right now, it's probably about 71 degrees. It's real comfortable, real comfortable out here. But it's just a typical early fall morning. And the water temperature, the surface temperature is at 77 degrees. It's starting to cool down just a little bit. It's cooling down enough 
to where it's enjoyable to fish, folks. And it's enjoyable to fish anyway, but it is extra enjoyable to fish when you're not sweating bullets. But here in a couple hours, I may change my mind about that. But anyhow, that fish that I caught was right there by that post, the second post in from the end. And he was about six feet deep, five, six feet deep. But you got to stay away from the dock and just skip it. And it'll go way up, up, way up under yonder. Okay, let's just bring it back. And there he is. That's a good one. No, it ain't. Whew. I'm getting too excited. That's not a keeper. Close, but not quite. There's several crappie up under there. That's about an eight and a half inch crappie. I don't really like to keep them if they're old. Shoot. 11, 11 inches, 10 and a half, 11 inches and above is a good, good size to fillet. There he is. My, 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 this is a good one. This is a good one right here. Whew. Another big old, oh, that's too big to flip, folks. That's way too big to flip. That's a good crappie right there. Wow. Let's put him in the bucket right there. Oh my, 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 that's a good one. That's the two good ones we got. When I first stuck him, I thought he was a small fish. I've been catching a lot of small fish. I mean, a lot of them. Um, that's how effective skipping is. It's very, very effective. Let's go back up under there. I see I'm way up under there. That fish is probably three feet deep, two and a half, three feet deep, and I'm just bringing it back slow. I love this Bobby Garland shaped bait that Z-Man has come out with. The tail, I failed to mention, see that ball on that tail? It makes this bait shimmer like this. When you're just a steady retrieve, it just, can y'all see that? It's not a bunch of action, but it's a vibrating action. Plenty for a crappie. A crappie is super sensitive. Their lateral line is super sensitive, and their sight is super sensitive. So it's just a made-to-order bait for a crappie. But let's mess around right here and see if we can get another one to bite. Another one or two. That fish was up under there, probably about seven or eight feet up under that dock. He was, uh, he was way up under there. Come on, fishy boy, boy. There we go. Got him. They're hitting short. There's a lot of fish up under there, but they're hitting short. And what I do, when that happens, I, all I do is make that presentation right back again in the same place. And I just keep keep that going, keep that going. And finally they'll commit, whether they're a little one like that or a great one, he'll finally commit. Four pound test line, I get a lot of questions too about that. And, you know, four pound test line is what I prefer, skipping docks. The reason is, is because I can get that bait much farther back with four pound line opposed to six. There's a, I can, there's a big difference in how far you can get between the two lines. I would much rather have the strength of six pound test 
mono is four pound test mono because sometimes you'll hook some big big crop way up under there and they're hard to handle it's not going to do you no good as far as getting a lot of bites if you can't get the bait way up under there like where the fish live let's get her back again see i'm way up under there i'm letting it fall letting it fall letting it fall there it is five foot deep let's bring it back and go ahead and catch him setting the hook too hard it's been a while since i've dock fished skip dock so i'm setting that hook a little bit hard now you do have to set it a little bit harder because of that weed guard than you normally would but not that much quit get on back that's a walking thing he done went by me once walking he come back again as far as equipment i should have done went into it Th this is a six foot eagle claw rod one that i use all the time for skipping docks that's my favorite length six feet and i've used this rod for years and years and years i have two of them and this is just a diawa real 1000 size and four pound test mr crappie line high vis crappie are not line shot but we're going to get back in here and focus on these deeper fish and see what we can do look here y'all see that maybe you've seen that high vis line Golly, y'all seeing this? They're so aggressive they can't they can't get it in their mouth. That makes sense. They're hitting it too hard. That one got it. Golly, it's a crappie. I have caught. I've caught enough crappie. Let me show y'all something how good this bait is. Let's let him go. Uh, see the doggone paint is wore off of my head i've caught so many crappie with this one jig see the paint's gone but the jig's undamaged a last tech i mean it speaks for itself let's make another cast there he is that ain't a bad one right there Ooh, if I was hungry, I'd keep that fish right there to eat. But we ain't going to do that. Going back. The main thing about skipping docks, it's not about catching the fish. It's about practicing to be able to have bait control and be able to put this bait wherever you want it. That's the main thing about this technique. There's some more back there. I mean, look here, folks. Let's make a long skip back up under there. And bring it at a slow, slow pace. And there you get they They're still there. How many fish is up under that dock? There's another one. Y'all had to see that thump. This is a good one right here. Yep, that's our keeper. No doubt. Ain't that pretty. Let's flip him in here. That fish eat it. That jig's gone. Absolutely gone. Look at there. They... See, I'll have to have my plars, but that's a good keeping fish right there. Good eating size. Just right to put in a skillet. There we go. Look at there. Oh, he's a pretty good old man, but he picks around his ears just a lot. Yeah, I can't stand to take that, but you know, other than that, he's pretty good old man. There's one. There, here's a good one. There's another good one right there. Keeper. Woo! We getting them now, old boys. That's what it's about. Hanging in there like a rusty fish hook. And catching them. 
Quiet, quiet, quiet. Well, folks, I ended up catching several keepers, and that's all I needed, just a few for Mama Sue to eat. We got them, but my goodness at the fish I had to catch to do that. When the water temperature drops about 10 more degrees, 15, oh boy, those bigger fish are definitely going to be on hand. It won't be long before that's going to happen. I appreciate everything that y'all do and have done for this channel. Y'all have built this channel up quickly, and I appreciate everything that y'all do and all the great comments, too. Um, I'm not the kind of person that's going to get a big head because of the way I was raised, and I wasn't raised with a whole lot, but we had enough. And I have enough sense to know that, you know, y'all are just incredible folks. That's just all I got to say. God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Hey, that drillogen is terrible. Woo. Woo. And remember, don't skip this when you can because it's good for you.